MVST is the acronym used for a multi-vessel bypass performed through a small thoracotomy. And essentially what that is is a four to five centimeter incision under the left breast uh, to access the heart and to perform bypass either on a beating heart or on a heart and lung machine. And this is different from conventional surgery which requires opening the breastbone down the center of the chest to perform the operation either with or without a heart and lung machine. When we use conventional surgery and using the heart and lung machine, patients stay in the intensive care unit for about 24 hours and their hospitalization is more or less five to six days after surgery. Once they're discharged, they go home and they have a recovery at home which includes the avoidance of driving and heavy lifting for at least three months. With the minimally invasive technique, we hope to have patients out of the intensive care unit within a day, on the hospital ward for perhaps three days after surgery, and then discharged to home in about four days in total. So performing the minimally invasive technique, what we're able to, to uh, afford the patient is an earlier return home. They can leave the hospital earlier than they would if they had their breastbone separated. And once they return home, they have a potential for um, uh, reducing the length of time required to get back to their normal functions. The patient population that's referred to us as cardiac surgeons is a patient population who has coronary artery disease, that is plaque buildup in the blood vessels of the heart, which prevents blood flow from going to where it needs to go. There are two methods that we generally use to improve flow to the heart, and one is to use stents after angioplasty, which our cardiology colleagues do. And what we do is perform bypass surgery, which is building bridges using either arteries or veins around the blocked parts of the blood vessel. This, this minimally invasive coronary bypass technique that we're developing is one of the key components in hybrid revascularization. There are, again, a group of patients who would benefit from the survival advantage of performing a single bypass down the front of the heart but who may be at too high a risk for complete bypass surgery and who may also be not good candidates for complete restoration of blood flow using stents. In this setting, or in this patient population, we may be able to combine the two, to combine single major blood vessel coronary bypass through a minimally invasive technique in addition to using stents in some of the other blood vessels on the heart. And this way, we completely revascularize the patient at a reduced risk. Currently, this form of minimally invasive coronary artery bypass is being used in only a handful of centers in Canada. The Schulich Heart Center at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center is the only institution performing this procedure in the greater Toronto area. If you're a patient who's been referred for coronary artery bypass and who has been told that you may benefit from minimally invasive coronary bypass, or if you're a family physician or a cardiologist in the community and wish to make further inquiries about minimally invasive coronary artery bypass, please feel free to contact us at the Schulich Heart Center at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center.